Our DC motor driver was in dire need of revision, but it was so old, we ended up with a totally new product. It's the new serial controlled motor driver. It's smaller, less expensive, has more options, and can be configured in a variety of ways. I'd like to give you a tour of the functions. First and foremost, it is a serial controlled motor driver, so let's plug it into an FTDI basic. I'm using headers for easy disconnect. All right, first the driver is enabled, then a motor is set to a drive level. Motors can be inverted and bridged at driver level too. And the parser includes a command reference. Need more than two motors? Chain multiple drivers and control all the motors from a single serial interface. Additional motors are numbered by the order in the chain. You're not just limited to the UART, you can use the I2C bus or an SBI bus to control it instead, using the Arduino IDE. This example uses analog inputs and sets the motor drive based on those levels. These small hobby gear motors drive great. They really can't pull enough current for the driver to get hot and have good speed control. But if you need more, connect a single motor to both motor outputs and bridge the driver. Heat from heavy loads can be dealt with by adding TO220 heat sinks. This heavy duty pump draws around two amps and needs a sink for continuous duty. Why not connect two motors to each output instead? This test platform uses dual gear motors per side, just wired in parallel. The extra torque really makes this bot truck around. This other test platform uses a single gear motor per side with higher speed motors. No heat sink necessary, even with the protective casing installed. 